So 2026 is finally here and you are still looking out for that dream job in a big tech company be it Google or a Microsoft or Amazon then this video is for you because we are going to discuss what it requires for you to get a software engineering job in 2026 in a big tech company like Google or Microsoft or Amazon. But before we start, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more such amazing videos coming ahead. So if we talk about the interview process of major companies, be it a Google or a Microsoft or Amazon or any other product based company, the first initial screening round would be based upon your data structure algorithms. That is your problem solving skills. So you need to be very good at problem solving skills to ace these rounds. Once you clear these rounds, then the interview process would also majorly consist of 70 to 80%. It's for, for an example, take the interview process of Amazon. So the first round is an online test, which would have two questions to be solved in 45 to 60 minutes. It would have a few MCQs. In some colleges, they would ask aptitude. In some colleges, they would ask computer science fundamentals. In some co colleges, it would be only DSA. So it depends, but all in all, 70 to 80% of the online test would be DSA. Then you'll have two rounds of interviews. Both of these rounds would be 45 minutes each and you need to solve two DSA problems, code them well, pass all the test cases and you are done. So this is the interview process of Amazon which consists of around 80% DSA even in 2026. They don't expect you to know rocket science but good problem solving skills because a good problem solver, when you join any company, you are the one who can learn any technology. They can put you into a team that's working on blockchain, on Android, on machine learning, on front end, on back end everything. So you can be an asset to the company if you have good problem solving skills and that's the major criteria. Now getting an interview call in 2025, 2026 for a fresher has been tough. What are some of the ways that you can look out for for getting these opportunities? First of all, you should look out for on-campus opportunities if your college has that kind of credibility that companies are visiting your college. Make sure you sit in your college placements and get the that opportunity because that's the easiest route. Now, I know most of you are not from that college in which all these companies visit. Now, what can be the second out? You, you probably would have heard it as off campus. In off campus, what are the different routes in which you can get to these companies? First, you can look out for careers portal. Most of them would have a career opportunity on their portal, be it Amazon. Currently also, they would have a few for internships and full-time roles. For six months internships, Amazon hire third year students. For second year students, Google has a step internship that's currently open. Microsoft even has a second year internship known as Explore and a lot of companies are going to have this internship in the coming few months. Flipkart is going to come with Flipkart Runway, Flipkart Girls Wanna Code and a lot more. You need to look out for these opportunities. Secondly, hackathons. Try participating in all the hackathons that happen across Hacker Earth or Unstops. You can look out for these opportunities or I keep on sharing a lot about them on my Instagram and Telegram group. On the Telegram group, there are more than 2 lakh people. Make sure you do join that so that you don't miss the opportunity next time because that's going to be very crucial. Now, once you get an opportunity, once you have prepared DSA, then the third thing is interviews. How to clear those interviews because you don't have that experience of giving an interview. Probably you would, be, you would have been giving the interview for the very first time. Now you need to be there, present yourself in front of the interviewer and get that job. Now, a lot of people would say that they... Uh, are not confident or they would have other reasons apart from their skill set that they're not able to clear interviews. So the best option that I also have practiced during my time was mock interviews. Look out for a friend who can take a mock interview or look out for a senior who can help you with mocks. If at all you don't have anyone, I am going to build a platform today for all of you known as a mock interviewer platform where you will be getting previous year company questions of all these companies like Amazon, Google, Microsoft and we are going to build this using Replit which you can also do it for free. I'll give the link to Replit in the description below. You will get $10 as credits if you sign up using the link below. I have the Replit interface in front of me. This is gonna give me an app that is done with backend, frontend, database, everything integrated. Even I don't need to put in my API credentials that I'm gonna use and let's see what it is building for me. So I have just typed in build an interview preparation app with company-wise previous year questions timed mock rounds and AI that brutally analyzes answers telling exactly why you would get rejected. You can use React, Tailwind, Anthropic API. This is what I prefer. You can use any tech stack. I'll uh, next look out for, uh, I am preparing for software engineering interviews and need DSA problems. 
So this is the prompt that I've given, although not a very polished uh, prompt, but let's see what uh, Replit does it does with it, right? So you can choose an option you can build or you can plan before you build. Also, there's an option for design. You can look out for different design options for your uh, application. We can do it later as well. And I'm just clicking on start and let's see what happens. So it's starting to build something like interview guru. So let's see how much time it takes, what are the different processes it goes through and if at all a human input is needed at any point of time. So I can see it's generating design guidelines. So I've tried multiple platforms, but Replit has this. So I've tried multiple vibe coding platforms, but this platform, Replit, has been one of the top platforms that I have used in 2025 to ship a lot of apps myself. And let's see the use case today if it is able to give us the app that we actually want for our interview preparation. That can help me give a random question and I am solving that question in a stipulated amount of time. And that will help me prepare for my interviews. Let's see what it gives us. It's building the interview preparation app with company-wise DSA problems, timed mock interviews, and brutal AI feedback. So it's searching for it, anthropic integration, and uh, since we need AI analysis, so I'll, it'll add a anthropic AI integration that uses Replit AI integration. So I don't need to put in my API keys myself, right? Else for any other platform, you need to go to your, uh, uh, you need to go to that platform, generate an API key, whether it's OpenAI or Anthropic or uh, any other model that you're using. But with Replit, you have that inbuilt. So Replit will be using its inbuilt API keys and you don't need to put these API keys from anywhere. So anyone who's very non-technical, who doesn't understand what it is, I think it's very, very suitable for him or her. So Anthropic integration is already set up. It uses Replit AI integrations for Anthropic access and doesn't require any API key. So it's now creating a task list for building this interview preparation app. Let's see what all tasks it has in hand. So it's planned the schema and component builds, edited uh, a TypeScript file, uh, like schema file. Uh, it's editing a CSS file, index.css, decided upon front-end component creation. Within front-end component creation, it is building a theme toggle component, dashboard page, company browser page, uh, problem detail, mock interview page, AI feedback, update, uh, app.tsx with sidebar layout. And this is exactly how I would have planned or any engineer who is currently building something would have planned their application and it is there in front of you. So it's now creating, so it has created theme dot, uh, theme toggle. Uh, so it has created this component. You can see the component and if you want to change something, you can just give it a prompt and it will get that done for you. Within some time, we'll see the preview here and let's see what kind of preview we have. There's also a publish button. We'll click on the publish button to publish this website once it is done. So it's just one single click publish, right? You don't need to deploy it anywhere else. Just you can just click on publish and you'll get an option to publish your application right away. But yes, as this app is gonna build, there are some more things that you can try. If you're not big tech companies, how can you reach out to startups and startup founders? There are a lot of companies who have raised funding in the last few months in the AI space within India, out of India, in Europe, in US, look out for companies which have got funding. Just go to ChatGPT or any other platform, look out for which companies got funding in the last two months and you'll get a list of, let's say, 50, 70, 100 companies. Now go to LinkedIn, look out for people who are working in these companies. They can be engineering managers, they can be uh, founders themselves or somebody who is in the recruitment team and ask them for opportunities. Make sure that you have a proper proof of work. You have a good resume. You should have worked upon good projects, not just uh, simple applications, but you should have some credible uh, projects that you, that would give you an edge over others, right? So this is something that you should follow. Like reaching out like cold DMs, reaching out on cold DMs is one of the things that you should definitely try in 2026. Make a habit of, let's say, talking to or reaching out to five people every day on LinkedIn and hopefully you'll get results very, very soon. This has been tried and tested by me and you will also get these opportunities very, very soon. So now it's building the application. It's, it has created certain uh, pages. Let's see what next it's gonna build. I'll come back once it has built something cool again. 
Now you can see it has gone through the entire process and it took around close to 20 -ish minutes for building the entire thing. So you can see which all tasks were done. It planned different data schemas, components, all the components you can see if you want to go to any component and change anything, you can do that or you can give a prompt to do that. Uh, similarly, it has also tested, you can watch the replay on how it tested, it navigated and tested the entire interview platform if it is working or not. So you can check this also. Uh, if there's an issue, it has uh, tried solving that issue on its own. If at all, I would give some input, I would have given that input. So that's also uh, the case. So this is how it added. I asked it to add even more DSA questions. It added more DSA questions. This is the preview. This is the interface that you can see. Uh, Google, Meta, Amazon, Netflix, Microsoft, Apple. So currently 66 questions are there, but you can supply as many questions as possible and it will be able to build that for you. I'll list down below a, a sheet in which you'll find a lot of different questions. Maybe you can use that to build something like this. You can click on start mock interview, pick uh, any random company, for example, Amazon, a difficulty level medium, and I'll begin the interview. So it has given me a question. I need to solve this question in 20, 30, 29 minutes, 30 minutes, right? So it's like, it has also given me tips. It has also given me things to solve. There's a progress bar where I can track my progress, number of questions I've solved, average score that I have, completion rate, what is the weekly activity. Also there's a dashboard where you can see a lot of things, companies you can see, and you can even click on this publish button to publish this website for yourself. So that was mock interview platform that we built ourselves, but this is just one thing you can do a lot of different things with Replit, with its inbuilt backend, frontend UI for anything and everything. You can test upon different UIs. You can do whatever you want. You can give it a page and it will try to replicate that page, the similar kind of UI that you want, maybe your color design or schema that you are looking forward to. But yeah, apart from mock interviews, there are many more things that are involved when you're preparing for an interview. So the best part would be to practice as many questions as possible, be it company wise. So, so company wise, you can prepare it from something like this, or you can prepare from lead code, or you can prepare from any other platform. So these are some of the things that can get you to a big tech company in 2026. If you have any more doubts, any more questions, let me know in the comments below. Also make sure you try out Replit. The link is there in the description. You'll get a $10 discount if you'll try it from the link in the description. That was it for this particular video. Let me know in the comments below what are your plans for 2026 and see you in another one. Till then all the best. Good luck and bye.